Welcome inside Rogers Center, where tonight we will watch history unfold. It's the first ever draft in this inaugural season for the National Basketball League of Canada, and you can watch it live right here on nblcanada.ca and domeproductions.com. Jason Portwondo, along with the radio voices of the Toronto Raptors, Eric Smith and Paul Jones. Guys, we've envisioned it, we've talked about it, and now it's finally here. Well, and I know I'm going to speak probably a little bit for my broadcast partner here, Jason, in Jonesy, but uh, this is something that has been talked about for quite some time, and the need for something like this, a domestic league in this country, an opportunity for Canadians and Americans, North American players, to play on this soil and to bring the game from coast to coast. And now that it's finally here, what about 16 years uh, later, Jonesy, it's where we were in Sky Dome then, the Rogers Centre, watching the Toronto Raptors and Vancouver Grizzlies come into the league, and here we are less than 20 years later with finally a domestic league for this country. It's something that is long overdue, Eric, the fact that now Canadians and Americans as you said that don't have a chance to play at another level can play at the pro level right close to home I'm a little older than both of you guys just a can, little I, I, I look just a little <laughs> and I can say this I never thought I would see this day and it's a credit to the people that have worked hard to put this league together and we're standing here about to witness history with the inaugural draft and guys in light of what's going on right now with the NBA no doubt a welcome sight for Canadian basketball fans as the slogan says it's showtime. Let's check in with the president and CEO of NBL Canada, Andre Livingston. Live from the beautiful Rogers Center in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the National Basketball League of Canada's inaugural draft brought to you by Rogers. <laughs> Players, families, owners and dignitaries, thank you for joining us here this evening. And to the fans watching from all around the world, we're so excited to have you join us here on this historic evening. Tonight, the National Basketball League of Canada ushers in a new era of professional sports in Canada. The quality of play will be the highest standards that this country has ever seen. In the past, Canadian players have had to go abroad to play professional basketball. The National Basketball League of Canada changes all of that. Players and fans can now enjoy the game of basketball in their own backyards. Today marks the first time that our children will have the opportunity to dream of something bigger, playing the game they love in the country they call home. We're excited to be kicking off our 2011 draft and look forward to an exciting season. In preparations for this draft, numbers were drawn to determine the draft order for our expansion teams. The founding teams of this league were picked last in reverse order based on their last year's records. Oshawa has the first pick, followed by Prince Edward Island, London with the third, Moncton with the fourth, St. John's with the fifth, Halifax with the sixth, and Quebec with the seventh. There will be three rounds with teams picking in the same order in all rounds. Teams will have three minutes to make their selection between picks. The first round would be for free agent players, with the second and third round being for Canadian players only. These gentlemen have worked extremely hard this weekend to showcase their talents to coaches and general managers. Good luck this evening. Let's begin. Oshawa is on the clock. All right, guys, there is a look at the draft order, the seven teams. We're going to have 21 guys selected tonight. The tension in the room, you could just cut it with a knife. What do you think we could possibly see, guys? Well, I think over the course of the evening, uh, the, the way the rules are set up, as, uh, as uh, Andre Livingston was just stating, in the second and third rounds, it has to be a Canadian <laughs> selected, Jason. But in the first round, Canadians still could be selected. And some of the stuff that we've heard, Jonesy, in leading up to this is the fact that uh, Tristan Martin, who was born in Toronto, played high school ball in Philly, uh, attended University of Houston, he's a Canadian that could actually go number one overall in this draft and that would be huge news I think for the league overall if you actually have a Canadian drafted with that top slot and he's not number one probably a guy that's going in the top three overall so even though it's, it's second and third rounds for Canadians that doesn't necessarily mean that there won't be more Canadians even in that first round. At the combine yesterday Eric there were five Canadian kids that made it through with the free agents most of them from 
you know, international players, most of them Americans, but there were five Canadian kids. Tristan did impress. But you know what? I'm, I'm thrilled for other Canadian kids that are going to have the chance. Nick McGallis, a kid from right here, played at the University of Toronto, an OUA All-Star. Uh, uh, Nicholas Lother from the University of Winnipeg, another kid that impressed today at, at the Combine. Toot Rouch from York, the all-time I, I can't believe he was scorer. fourth on your well, list. Well, I, I, couldn't go, I couldn't go to the York guys right away, <laughs> Stephen Haynes. These kids now, as Andre was talking about, as we've talked about, they've got a chance to play in Canada. You know, the Oshawa people are getting ready. Their head coach, Mark Strickland, a guy who's a, an NBA player, had a seven-year NBA career uh, with Denver, Indiana, Miami. He's a guy that, you know, knows what he's doing. He's uh, played for legendary John Chaney at Temple. So, uh, you know, Oshawa's on the clock. They're looking to make their picks. And I saw Mark out there with his uh, management team scoping everybody yesterday, working hard to get it right. And we should note, if they're not selected tonight, does not mean the end of the line for these guys. I mean, camps are available in October, so they could still get an invite to that. Well, basically the way things are going to look after the end of tonight for, for at least four of the seven teams, they'll have, they'll have three players. Right. They've still got to fill out the roster to a minimum of 10, maximum of 12. Uh, uh, the, the three existing teams from Quebec, St. John, and Halifax were able to protect five players, but not necessarily have those guys signed. They're protected at this point. They'll have three more tonight, but that doesn't mean that they've got eight of their 10 or eight of their 12 right off the bat. they got to go out and sign these guys as well. So there's still a lot of uh, roster spots open no matter what happens tonight. Well, and some of those guys were there. Uh, yesterday, they, were, they played on other teams, but they came to the camp as free agents to show their stuff to maybe get a chance to play somewhere else in the league next season. All right, 12-man uh, rosters, two of which have to be Canadian. An exciting night and a historic night, as talked about as well. Oshawa is on the clock. About 10 seconds from now, we'll head to the podium and we'll get that first selection. And uh, this is exciting. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I, you know, Jason, I, I, I say this all the time. The need for a domestic pro league in Canada is long overdue. We finally have it. Let's hope it flies. There have been issues with other leagues in the past. These people seem to have done things the right way, taken their time, planned it out. It's not going to be something that they're just trying to piece together and patch together. There's been a lot of hard work going into this, and I think we're seeing the fruits of it tonight. Yeah, top 30 nations, Canada, in that when you're talking about basketball, the only one without a professional basketball league. It's about time. It's showtime. Let's head to the podium.